Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Live channel. In today's video, we're going to be telling you all you need to know about the Volvo P2 platform. Volvo's P2 platform was a mid-sized platform first introduced in 1998. It was used for a variety of Volvo models until 2007, until it was replaced by the P3 platform. The P2 platform was a significant step forward for Volvo as it allowed the company to develop a range of new models that were more modern, more efficient and more capable than their predecessors. The car you can see here is the gorgeous XC90 Ocean Race and it's one of many cars that featured for the first time on Volvo's P2 platform. Other models include the S80, the S60 and the XC70. Before you start commenting saying that there was a previous generation XC70, it wasn't, it was a V70 cross country. P2 platform was the first one to be labelled the XC70. One of the key features of the P2 platform was its modular design. This allowed Volvo to use the platform as the basis for a range of different models including the S60, V70, XC70, S80 and XC90. Despite the fact these models were built on the same platform, they were all unique in their own way, with different exterior designs fitting into different vehicle classes, different interior features and different performance characteristics. Another important feature of the P2 platform was its use of advanced technology. This included electronic stability control, traction control and a range of other safety features that helped make Volvo vehicles some of the safest on the road. The platform was also designed to be more aerodynamic than previous Volvo platforms, which helped to improve fuel efficiency and reduce wind noise. In addition to its technological innovations, the P2 platform was also known for its reliability and durability. Volvo has long been known for building cars that are built to last, and the P2 platform was definitely no exception. Many of the owners of P2 Volvo reports that their cars drive well over 200,000 miles with minimal maintenance, a testament to the platform's engineering. Now I personally know people with Volvos, P2 Volvos with over 400,000 miles on. These things are absolutely built like tanks. Despite being a fantastic Volvo platform, the P2 did have one major issue, weight. Despite its advanced technology, the platform was relatively heavy compared to the predecessors and also most importantly its competitors, which affected fuel efficiency and performance. However, Volvo was able to mitigate this to some extent with the use of turbocharged engines and other advanced technologies. Overall then, the Volvo P2 platform was a major step forward for Volvo, allowing the company to develop a new range of models that were safer, more reliable and more capable than their predecessors. While the platform was replaced by the P3 platform, it remains an important part of Volvo's history and a testament to the company's commitment to innovation and engineering excellence. Just go on Auto Trader, and you'll find many of these Volvos still fighting fit today. The very fact that the P2 platform was actually used up until 2014 in the XC90 is testament to its long-lasting durability. I've often been very tempted by P2 Volvos, I especially like the XC70 and the XC90 and I definitely see myself owning one of those on the channel in the future. But until then, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, let me know your thoughts, let me know if there's anything I've left out of this video and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers!